Yay! Hi, 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 JS from Iceland. So, uh, as uh, Friday has introduced, my uh, dear co-presenter is going to be Bela for today. Uh, you should, uh, you could see them uh, holding yesterday's beer, which they enjoyed very much. So, we're going to be talking about 2,560 bytes is out to be uh, enough for everyone. If you don't get the diff, uh, you know, get this. Uh, reference, you probably are pretty old, or you just watch a lot of memes on the internet. So my name is Flaki, which is the short for Istvan Smoljanski. I'm from Hungary, or at least I still rent an apartment there. I work uh, basically doing uh, DevRel and a bunch of other new uh, modern technologies. I'm a Mozilla tech speaker. I work with the Mozilla DevRel team doing the same thing, and I'm doing a bunch of JavaScript or microcontroller stuff and hardware in general. So I'm a member of the Tassel project, uh, which is basically what brought me into hardware in the first place, like two or three years ago when this thing went on. Uh, one of the, the crowdfunding campaigns, I ordered one, I started playing around with it, and did my first presentation in Budapest as a, in a uh, in JavaScript or microcontrollers, and, you know, Basically, he convincing people that you know running JavaScript on a microcontroller might actually be a good idea, or at least not being a terrible idea. So why would that be? Uh, I'm not sure this talk is going to sell it to you, but actually, one of the creators, John McKay, uh, is giving a talk. Uh, has given a talk uh, last year at Web Rebels, talking about the whole journey of the Tesla team. Uh, um, there is a reading list you should read up on this. It's, it's fascinating how they use JavaScript and not really use JavaScript on a microcontroller. And there are other devices like the Esperino that you see on this uh, screen. This is like the, the thing that you see is an USB connector. So this is literally a thumb by size and you can program this uh, with JavaScript. Um, uh, it had a very strange JavaScript compiler, uh, like JavaScript engine uh, running on it, and Samsung didn't think that was, any, that was okay, so they set out to, to bring JavaScript properly onto microcontrollers. Uh, to be honest, like uh, the Esperino uh, has, has uh, improved a lot since, so Esperino is also a very capable chip by now, uh, but what Samsung came up with, and eventually open source, is JerryScript, uh, which is... You know, um, I, I, um, it powers a lot of devices. You can program, uh, for example, BBC microbits on it. So uh, it's a pretty, pretty interesting stuff uh, happening. And I forgot to set this up. So let me just set some. Hopefully, yep, yeah. yep. No, not yet. Or okay, that's not good. Why is it not working? Technical difficulties, I guess. All right, we'll. S See if we can get this to work. Uh, nope, not that one. There you go. Now we're talking. All righty. So let's talk about a bunch of more interesting stuff, uh, like JavaScript powered IoT. Uh, just uh, two years ago, here in, on this very stage, maybe on this exact stage, uh, uh, Pebble announced that they are actually running JavaScript on their Pebble watches, and they actually didn't stop until they could get JavaScript running as fast and, and as battery efficient as they could run Java, uh, C code on the microcontroller. So you can see 230 lines of codes uh, versus 39 lines of JavaScript powering the, the, the UI of a, a smartwatch. And when they won Defunct last year, they actually bought, uh, got bought up by Fitbit, and my watch is actually running JavaScript on the UI, so you can actually create apps and stuff uh, for your watch on uh, JavaScript. But my, we need to go smaller. Like, these are pretty capable modern chips, so how about putting JavaScript on the uh, microcontroller like this? Have you ever played with uh, Arduinos before? This is a 8-bit processor. This is an Arduino Micro. It literally run, uh, has 2,560 bytes of memory. It, it, has, it holds a, a 30K of flash, and you can do stuff like put uh, Space Invaders on it. How? Uh, well, there are a bunch of ways. Uh, usually, you use the Arduino IDE and some C or C++ to code it. Uh, I created a small project that, that you can do this with JavaScript. 
And it actually turns your JavaScript into C++. It's a, a good thing Andy just mentioned flow. It actually uses flow in the backend to infer your types and stuff. I don't have time to explain it, but if you want to, uh, just come up to me and uh, try it yourself. And because that's all the games that you're going to be making are going to be just JavaScript, you can just put them uh, onto the web and play them. Uh, and after you play them, you can uh, compile them and put them onto devices like this one. So this is a JavaScript game running on a microcontroller uh, compiled for a microcontroller hardware that has a 8-bit, 16 megahertz processor. And you know, if that's not enough, you, know, you can use this one, which is literally a tiny arcade. That's the name. It's a tiny arcade box uh, that you could play with. Uh, why, would you, uh, why is that interesting? Because this is just the web. This is just JavaScript and canvas you're writing. And you can check that because I have some links up. If you go to this uh, on, with your computer or your laptop, actually you can play the exact same game that, is get, that gets compiled down to the microcontroller and the gaming devices. We have space invaders if you're into that kind of stuff. And we also have a workshop. So if you're Icelandic uh, or if you're going to be driving around the island uh, for next week, just drop by Reykjavik University next Saturday. And we're actually going to do a whole workshop. Uh, we, the the uh, creators of these devices actually were kind enough to provide us with a bunch of devices. So you can actually play with JavaScript, create games, and put them onto a microcontroller and play around with those. And next Saturday, there is a link in there as well. And if you want to talk to you about these kind of stuff, uh, at me at uh, Twitter at SL Softworks or follow at Cloudboy for the new stuff. All of this is open source. Uh, most of this is built on Node.js and JavaScript. So the whole server and whole editor is all based in JavaScript. So you can contribute uh, if you uh, if you want to. And all the slides are online at talk.flag.is. Yes, that's an Icelandic domain, right? Uh, slash play slash jsconf Iceland. So thank you very much. There's a reading list and links if you want to know uh, more about these topics.